It's beautiful. I had no idea you were so good with plants. Well, better than with people, it would seem. What are you doing here? I thought after what happened yesterday, I'd be the last person you'd want to see. So did I. And then I thought about it, and I realized I owed you an apology. <laughs> Catherine, I know you'd never do anything to hurt me. I was just so angry and confused, and I snapped. I'm sorry. I've just been fighting so hard to hold on to David, I've never stopped to ask myself why. He's your husband. You love each other. You always have. No. We haven't. See the way he looks at her? He's never looked at me like that. Not even before his accident. Catherine, relationships take work. You can't give up so easily. Have you ever been in love? Yes. Once. Then you're lucky. Because what I'm coming to understand is, is that I haven't. What they have is real, it's true. My marriage to David, it, it just was like an illusion. I don't know how it happened, but it was never real. I know that now. The way David looks at Mary Margaret, that's what I want for me. And I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna find it. What are you talking about? I'm sticking to my plan and moving to Boston. Alone. If I stay here, I'll never be happy. And what about David? I wrote him a letter. Him and Mary Margaret. I told them they should be together. Uh, I'm sorry, you did what? I can't see him, not now. It's just too painful. Mm. I'm gonna miss you, Regina. You've been a good friend to me. Hmm. You're really going? Mm. Yeah, it's funny. I've always had this irrational fear of leaving Storybrooke. Like something's just holding me back. Is that crazy? <laughs> no. Change is always frightening. But you know what, Catherine? This just may be what you need. <laughs> Maybe you'll find what you're looking for.